Morning peeps. It's a new one. You ready for a new one? I decided that I would like to do one that deals with nature around me. I, I love nature so much. I love trees. I love flowers, birds, varmints. I just nature just calls me and I love it so much. And I thought I should be doing a series of videos on nature. What do you think? Well, I decided that I would and we'll see how it goes. See if I can come up with enough nature things to actually keep it going. Um, in my limited travels, it's hard to see new things, but there are things here I can show you. Um, the first one I want to talk about is vincas. I absolutely love vincas. Uh, when I was doing the um, yard at the clinic, I used to, the clinic I worked at, she couldn't get anybody to um, do the yard work. And so I did it. I mowed the lawns, kept the flower beds up, and there was a little... Um, in the middle of all of the clinic, there was a little garden area and I kept that up in the flowers and it was great. I enjoyed it somewhat. I don't like mowing, but I liked dealing with the flowers, but the one flower bed in the front, it was, you know, you're not there all weekend and nobody's watering it and everything you would put in it died. So I put vincas in there and when I read the little thing you'll know why but they just grew crazy and then the next year they came up and grew crazy more and it was just a beautiful patch um they they do wonderful in this arid heat here <laughs> anyways i have a little blurb that i'm going to read to you about them um i have them planted here at the at the compound this is the first year i planted them here we're going to see how they do um if you saw my short the video of the um, bird bath has them all around the bottom of them, and I'll, I'll show you that again. And I think that they're gonna do very well there because it's very hot and dry, and I, they like that. <laughs> but this is what it says about the vincas, okay? Vincas, they're called annual vincas, are also known as periwinkles and are native to semi-arid regions of Africa. That's why they like the heat here. Africa here, some days it feels like it. <laughs> but um, you might know them as periwinkles. I've always called them vincas. I don't... Anyways, they're vincas to me. Anyways, that's why they do well in warmer and drier settings. In addition to having large, brightly colored flowers, vincas also have attractive foliage and are eye-catching even when not in bloom. One of the things that was great about them is if you water them periodically, they will stay blooming all summer. Annual vincas grow to 12 to 18 inches tall and become either pink, purple, red, white, magenta, and bicolors. The flowers are also attractive to butterflies. Another good reason. Vincas need little maintenance and deheading isn't required. I had never heard the term deheading and I had to look it up. It basically removed the flowers. My mother had a, um, what was it? Was it Spanish moss? And when the flowers would die, she'd pop them off and then new ones would come. That's not required on this, thank goodness. They do well in full sun to part shade and can tolerate some drought, although they flower best with regular watering. That's the way it was at the clinic. Um, they did without watering all weekend, but I could water them when I came back to work Monday and they did well, they flowered all summer. Vincas are grown as annual plants, though it is possible for them to self seed and come back the next year. However, because of their sensitivity to cold, they have a hard time making it through the winter. It's easy for gardeners to propagate them indoors. Like I said, um, they're considered an annual, but um, they were a perennial for me and they were great because they just reseeded themselves and the next year they all came up. 
and it was great. And I'm hoping that's what we get out here. We'll see. Like I said, this is the first year I've planted them, but this is a reminder to me of the beauty that God has put on this earth. It is so amazing to me, the flowers that are out here and what they can do and show for us. They're just totally amazing. I love them. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this didn't bore you half to death, but I love nature and I'm going to start sharing it with you and I hope you enjoy. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely full amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.